Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be my October empties. I cannot believe it's already November. Where has the time gone? I had some trouble even just like holding up this basket for the thumbnail earlier. So yeah, um, finished off a lot of things. Was a good month last month and um, I'm just really excited to show you guys what I finished. Okay, we're gonna start off with a few household empties, a little bit random, but I have mentioned these before and that is skinny syrups. So me and my mom are obsessed with skinny syrups. They're zero calorie, zero sugar, and we add them to our coffee. Usually I'll do um, two teaspoons of um, creamer, sugar-free vanilla creamer, and then I'll do one teaspoon of these, and that's all you need for a full coffee cup. So this one is our favorite, an ice cinnamon roll. Literally amazing, $3.99 at TJ Maxx. So good. This bottle doesn't last us very long though because we use it in everything. My mom uses it in her tea, in oatmeal, in baking, in anything. You can use these for pretty much everything. And then uh, one that I just finished off is Vanilla Caramel Creme, which um, that sounds similar to some Bath & Body Works stuff, but um, this was $2. It was actually going to expire soon, so I just went ahead and finished it off. I use this a lot actually in my smoothies in the morning. I have a peanut butter cup one downstairs that I use in my, um, either I'll do like a chocolate peanut butter smoothie or I'll do a PB&J smoothie with um, berries and it's so good. So just had to shout these out real quick and recommend them to you. Um, you can pick them up at TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I'm pretty sure Home Goods has them too, but those three stores will definitely have them. Okay, next I'm gonna get into what you guys really came for, and that's the candles. So the first one actually, my boyfriend Ryan finished off and he let me take it home because he knows that I am a weirdo and I collect all my empties, but it is mahogany teakwood high intensity. This is perfect for a large house. I typically was not a fan of mahogany teakwood and like I used to live in an apartment with five girls in college and they love this scent. It smells really good, don't get me wrong, but in like one, um, in like a one-story apartment, it's so strong, but he has a um, two-bedroom house and it's open concept and this is a thrower. It's so good. So um, this one is one that he finished off. It looks like really sooty, but it burned really well. Um, in case you don't know the scent notes of mahogany teakwood, it's an intense version of our classic home fragrance with notes of rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. I didn't know there was lavender in there, but it smells amazing and now it reminds me of him. So there you go. Um, the next one I finished off is the Huntington Homes Timber Wick in Toasted Pumpkin Marshmallow. So this one got down really far and then I got kind of scared because this is a wood wick. So I just like stopped burning it, but this is from Aldi. It was four or five dollars really amazing um after the first burn it kind of smelled like bonfire mixed with marshmallow which is really what it's supposed to be because it's toasted marshmallow no pumpkin whatsoever but it was just like a nice sweet scent and i'd burn this at night and just feel super cozy obviously it had a ton of soot but it's a wood wick so what can you expect so that one was really good um one that i finished off in the candle warmer is home uh home classics from yankee candle and vanilla chai um, also from TJ Maxx for $9.99. This one, it still smells pretty good, but I kind of just got sick of it, so I stopped burning burning it. I stopped um, having it on my warmer. I find that since um, I can leave on my warmer for like a month and they still will kind of throw a little bit, like when I walk into my room for the first time um, after coming home from work, I can smell it. So that's why I keep them going for so long, but this one um, was not good burning i would not recommend getting the the yankee candle single wicks um at least not in like a vanilla scent because vanilla is already a light scent but it was really good on the warmer like a nice simple chai scent you guys know i love chai scents so i was all about it um the next two are two single wicks the first one is autumn and this one i also burned all the way down as far as it would go and it did not burn anymore and this one was amazing autumn is such a strong candle it is so good it's just a, a juicy apple scent um, with a little bit of like fresh air amazing for this time of year i absolutely adored it i used it in the bathroom exclusively and it was so good um, the next one i used up is frosted cranberry i actually used this one up pretty fast it was in my project use it up or my project wax 
Um, I did this in a month, but then I did this in October. So I really used the crap out of this because once I started it, I could not stop. It kind of reminds me of Champagne Toast a little bit in that it's like a nice fruity bubbly scent. Um, but this one burned all the way down. It burned beautifully, smelled amazing, strong thrower. Would definitely recommend this again. Um, I think it's already back out. I don't know if it's back out in a single wick, but it was really good. I left this in my bathroom too, and that kind of like fresh fruity smell is really good in the bathroom. So that's it for candles. Um, for some body care, I finished off a strawberry pound cake hand soap downstairs. Um, this one I believe I got for like $2 at my outlet, so totally satisfied with that. You can never go wrong with strawberry pound cake. I finished off a full-size shower gel in blackberries and basil. Was very happy about finishing this one off. The scent notes are fresh blackberry, pink pomelo, sweet basil, and jasmine petals. You guys know jasmine is, maybe you don't know, I don't know. Uh, jasmine is the only floral that I can do. And this had a slight little like basil scent to it too, so it was like fruity basil with a little bit of jasmine really really good amazing for transitioning into fall at the beginning of october so that was really great i finished off two pocket backs was really trying to get through pocket backs this month so i could use all my fall ones um we have fiji white sands this one was on my purse pretty good can't really complain it's like a coconutty scent and then gingham which is a little too strong for me but it's a really great scent if you guys like that um i also finished off actually I think Ryan finished this off at his house. Uh, a wallflower fragrance refill. Let's see if I can tell what the scent was. Oh, it, it was literally mahogany teak wood. Yeah, it was definitely mahogany teak wood. <laughs> He's obsessed. Um, and I replaced it with sweet whiskey. Uh, whenever they had that wallflower sale for like $2 or $2.50, I think was what it was, I went and bought them a few. So sweet whiskey is golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. It's a really good kind of deep um but still like sweet scent so this one was really good is really good they have it going at their house right now um another fragrance thing that i finished up is a wall not wallflower a car refill this one was citrus sunshine citrus or something like that sun washed ci sun washed citrus that's what it was and i replaced it with pumpkin cupcake and pumpkin cupcake is not a good thrower um, I just put it in in the middle of the month and it was good for like a week and a half and then I can't smell it at all anymore and it kind of has been smelling weird in my car so this one did not work sadly the next one uh, the next empty that I have is a wax melt empty and this is from threshold the brand at Target it's actually like a three pack you can try these different scents so it came like this with three different scents on each row one was pumpkin spice, caramel latte was the other one, and then vanilla bean and amber was the last one. I finished off vanilla bean and amber as soon as I bought this last fall. Actually, not last fall, in the spring I bought this. Um, and then I repurchased vanilla bean and amber. I finished off caramel latte. It was a little too cloying for me, so I didn't repurchase that. And then I just finished off pumpkin latte in my warmer at work. It was an amazing, sorry, not pumpkin latte, pumpkin spice. It was an amazing pumpkin spice scent. Smelled like a quintessential pumpkin spice. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So good. So if I get the hankering for pumpkin spice again next fall, I will definitely go back to that one. Um, but that's that on the home fragrance. I have just like a random empty, this nail polish remover from Kroger. It was pretty good, not gonna lie. Uh, it didn't leave my nails feeling like um, crusty and, and bad after I used it, so that was good. I have a few makeup empties, and actually I have more than I usually do, which is great. So the first one is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Don't judge how nasty looking it is. Um, this one's great. My skin has kind of changed to be a lot more oily than it used to be. It used to be very, very, very dry to the point where I get eczema patches. I'm so sorry if you hear all this noise right now. It's five o'clock traffic. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I used to have super, super dry skin and now I have a very, very oily skin and acne and everything, but this makes my makeup stay all day. It's really, really great. So definitely recommend that. I've already repurchased it. And then I have the Mary Kay Lash Love Panorama Mascara. Love this stuff. I already have a backup of it, but I did finish this one off. I also finished off this AOA Studio. You can't even see the packaging on this because it's very old, so I was really aiming to finish it up. Um, it's the AOA Studio Brow Pencil, and it looks like this. If you guys want to get this one, it was literally a dollar, and it worked so well. It has a spoolie on the other end. It was amazing. It was so good. I would highly recommend it. It's literally a dollar, and they're cruelty-free. 
The last thing I finished off for makeup is this Mary Kay waterproof eyeliner pen. Just your regular regular black eyeliner pen. Love it. Um, and then I have a few skincare bits and that's everything. <laughs> so the first skincare item is the makeup remover cloths. I usually do not get these um, except for when I'm traveling and I was doing a lot of traveling um, the past few months and so I did pick up a little travel size pack of them. Worked pretty well. Did not irritate my skin. I finished off a chapstick in sugar cookie. So I bought the um, like holiday chapstick set last year. Um, and I'm finally finishing off all the chapsticks. So sugar cookie was so yummy. I would highly recommend if you're a chapstick fan to pick up the little... It's like a stocking. Um, it's a Christmas stocking. And it has all these flavors in it. It's mint latte, sugar cookie, pumpkin spice, and like one other thing I can't remember. So good. Amazing. Um, the next thing I finished off is this Cosmetics Pure Enzymes Cranberry Exfoliating Mask. Um, I don't really think this did much for me. I was recommended it after I got a um, facial one time and it smelled great and it looked great but I don't really think it did much but my skin has been super problematic lately so that could just be my skin. Um, the last thing I finished off is actually something from my dermatologist. It's the Cetaphil Pro Derma Control Oil Controlling Face Wash and it's like a little foam. I have another one of these um, already so I definitely like it. Like I said, my skin has just been absolutely horrendous lately, so can't tell if it's really making that much of a difference, but it's certainly um, not making it worse, so that's good. I did forget I have one hair empty, the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. I will buy this until the day that I die. I don't care if it's curly girl friendly. Um, I love it, so I love it. Um, I wish that Herbal Essence was cruelty free, which they are not, correct? No, they are not. I don't see a bunny. So that's kind of sad, but this stuff is so good for my curls and I will forever repurchase it. I already have a backup. So, so that is everything for today's empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below something that you're super proud of finishing off last month. I'm pretty proud of finishing off four candles. I think that's a really good deal for myself and I got my uh, single wick collection down, which is really great. So I am very happy about that. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.